automated email notifications are among the most effective and quick ways you guys can dramatically optimize your service-based business. For example, reminders can reduce no-shows and ensure that your clients will take your service for a spin. And this is what we will cover in this tutorial dedicated to appointment booking. If you're new here, welcome! My name is Valerie and you're watching the Motopress YouTube channel. And by the end of this video, you'll learn how to easily create appointment notifications for your customers, employees and admin. Using appointment booking will ensure a smooth customer journey, make you look professional every step of the way, and of course help your employees skip all that daily routine with phone calls. The first thing you want to do is update your appointment booking to version 1.13 or greater. Hovering your cursor over the appointments will display a flyout menu, and this is where we see the brand new submenu called Notifications. Click on it. We see there are no notifications yet, and we will add a new one together. At the start, let's decide on the recipient. We can create a notification for an admin, employee, customer, or even for custom email addresses. Let's say now I want to add a reminder for customers. Then I'm ready to add an appropriate title for it. Next, I'm going to set how many hours or days in advance of an appointment it should be sent. Notifications can also be scheduled after the appointment if you want to send a thank you message or a post-appointment follow-up like hope you enjoyed our services. Additionally, you can push exciting deals or offers with these letters. Such kind of notifications can help you in building a long-lasting relationship with your clients. Okay, now I'm going to create a workflow that will send an email reminder to the client uh, two days before the appointment time. Moreover, our notifications can also be sent at the scheduled specified time of the day. This option is available if you choose one day or more days from the drop-down, not ours. There is also a field for inserting some custom email addresses. But note, the letter will be sent to custom emails only if custom email addresses is checked in the recipients field. Otherwise, even if the custom email addresses field is not empty, they will still not be attached to the mailing list. Letter settings come next and their standard subject and header. The content of the message is customizable. You can insert predefined tags uh, which store useful information like custom name, appointment ID, stock of name, and so on and so forth. So you can find the full list of these tags under the message field. Here we also have new service tags, notice 1 and notice 2. Uh, to add the text to the service notices, you should go to Services and edit the service for which you want to create a notification and scroll down to find a new meta box in the service settings called Notification Notices and fill in the respective fields and update. Back to the notifications, if you need to change the structure of the message or perform advanced level changes, you'll have to override its template by editing this file. There is also a test notification now meta box on the post edit page. By clicking the send email button, 
the plugin selects any service from the confirmed reservations and uses it to send a test email to the administrator. The button works like a regular update post button so that all changes will be saved before sending and will not be lost. If there is no confirmed reservation, uh, then accordingly no email will be sent. As for the statuses, there are two statuses, active means published and disabled means dropped. And finally, we are ready to push create. Often one booking can include several services with completely different dates and times. But you should remember notifications are sent for individual services. Furthermore, pay attention, there is no mechanism for sending notifications for past bookings. Notifications are sent only for upcoming bookings. About the notification table, detailed information about the operations of the cron is displayed. The WordPress cron is run by the WP underscore cron function, which is hooked to run on the init hook, which runs on every page load. WP cron is only triggered whenever a user visits your site. In other words, it depends on your site's traffic. For the cron to be triggered every 15 minutes, we recommend setting up a real cron task in your server admin panel by adding this line. It starts a background process and reviews all active notifications, searches for services suitable for them, and sends corresponding letters to the users. And voila! <laughs> this is the notification the client has found in their inbox. Perfect! Apart from sending well-timed notifications, and maximizing customer convenience, no-shows can be avoided by implementing a confirmation mode upon payment. Specifying booking policies is also a good way to give every client of yours a heads up when it comes to booking an appointment with you. This can help avoid casual bookings. Our plugin settings allow displaying a mandatory terms and conditions consent checkbox for the user before they can pay or reserve the appointment. We also have Google Calendar integration for employees up and running. So don't forget to check out our appointment booking playlist I've linked in the description box down below to learn more about all these useful features. And remember, appointment booking is free for all Motopress Club members. Briefly to conclude, now you know how to manage your notification settings and keep customers, employees, and admin informed about upcoming meetings by sending them programmed reminders or keep the conversation going with follow-up emails. This new feature will definitely help get your clients through the door at the right time and turn a new client into a loyal client and build brand value in the eyes of your customers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do, give it a thumbs up before you leave. Feel free to use the comment section below. If you have any questions, we would be more than happy to answer them. And if you already had chance to test out and implement notifications in your project, let us know what you think about it. Also, don't forget to check out our website and follow us on social media. It was great having you here. Thank you for watching till the end. Subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And I'll be seeing you in the next video.